So, in the last episode, we defeated a Jedi Master and uh, turned uh, his Padawan, Jaysa, to the dark side. Ha 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 ha. I've been informed that my soldiers are bringing Noman Carr to me. A pleasant surprise. I'll have the final word in my war with that Jedi. He will die a thousand deaths. <clears throat> Some people are easy to get gifts for. Somehow I doubt defeating Noman Carr was easy. I see you have a new passenger. J. Sir Wilson, I presume. This is my master. Darth Barris. <coughs> Greetings, my lord. You've endured quite a lot, young one. But you seem to have come through it rather well. Would you agree? I am very pleased with the outcome. I sense her devotion to you, apprentice. However did you manage that? I learned from the best, master. <laughs> Excellent. The perfect disciple. There's no denying you are a master of the dark arts now. Only the most accomplished among us are named as lords among Sith. You have more than earned the distinction. I hereby confer the title of Sith Lord upon you. You honor me. Through your exemplary service, you honor yourself. I award a considerable stipend to those who attain such a rank in my service. Enjoy it. Now celebrate as you see fit. Then return to me here on Dromund Kos. I have great plans for us. Wow. A lord. I'm impressed. Congratulations, my lord. You've both been a great help. Service is its own reward. Yeah, what he said. I already prepared Jace's quarters. I'll go ahead and show her to them. <laughs> Perhaps you would be more comfortable in my room, Jace. Don't think it's going to be that easy, my lord. Ooh, I really like her. <laughs> so, my lord. Now you have the girl. A victory, I dare say, even Barris failed to anticipate. You've become a Sith Lord, and your power base is growing. Where are your sights set now? Now we crush all the Empire's enemies and bring the Republic to its knees. I hope to be there when you deal the final blow. I leave you to enjoy this achievement. Let's go do that mission for Westerham here first. Go to Narshadar. Try the casino thing out know, too. Be a way of celebrating becoming a lord. <laughs> He's driving this thing. 
Best prices this side of the galaxy. You check. Appreciate your business. I was just getting started. Hey! Nulilak apa jam kamgam. Amka nem nang. Ampa nem nang memua inok. Raka kem yu amkam nem nu. Namgan bak umnok ki jak. What did you call me? No, not possible. Lapo ram amka. Mamni nikag. Nagnaya mamni kamgam. Perhaps you mistake me for someone else. I am a master of the Force. Umno kepam, I hear. Nibe kap kamka, kakyam. Glak nimo amya kalak. Come on, show me how you kill Sith. Gladly. Good to go.
Apa yang ni lama? Rokom ni lah. Mem kiri kam komi manek. Mem yuka hal hal krama. Nik noga ni lalu mem nulak. Kata Bliss. You have exploited my people. Stolen our artifacts. And committed numerous crimes against Twi'laks the galaxy over. Return the star of Kala An. Promise to reform, and we may show mercy. Mem inik maraka, naya naram, kam kalu an kamanik. I'll grab the star of Kala An. We can meet the old gang here on Nashada. They'll make sure the star ends up in a museum, in Twi'lek hands. Well, look who the act dog dragged in. Taunt! Guys! And this must be the handsome Sith you've been seeing the galaxy with. Impressive. Had I known how beautiful you were, I would have brought Vet for a reunion sooner. Oh, he's a smooth one. First things first, though, yes? The star of Kala Un is in the case. Authentic and undamaged. Chiktahopa! Got that right. Most important single blow for Tui like Pride. All you, Vet. You've done something great for your people here. Cha'amo into Otmangisa. Mitisa Taparena? Here. It's every credit we could scrape together. Don't worry, we should be able to sweet talk the museum into getting us some of that back. Oh no, I know you guys. You won't even be eating. You have to buy equipment, bribe fees. We don't need your credits, do we? <clears throat> they are your people. It's your choice. Then I say keep the credits. Have a big dinner for me. Get some new gear. Kunto Kororja. I... No. I found a place. I'm gonna stay put for a while. But I'll keep in touch. You don't have to leave right away, do you? What do you say we let Vet and the boys catch up for a while? Of course. Maybe we should give them some time alone. Oh my. Sith really can read minds. Be good, kids. We'll be back. Woohoo! <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Funny. Stuka sun kanji tabutaya. I missed you guys. I'll say hello whenever I can. Yeah. Didn't see much of this in video games anymore. Be well, love. We'll miss you. Watch your back out there, kid. There we go. Okay.
supposed to do. <sighs> Some kind of whatever. inside a game. Like that. Shuttle sighted. Engaging. Good riddance. Upgraded ship though. <laughs> Everything's grade three. Won't be able to upgrade until another four levels. Okay. 
My lord, I'd appreciate it if you could speak with Vet. Ask her not to disturb me when I'm working. Exactly how is she disturbing you? She's not wired for military precision. And there's no filter on that Twi'lek mouth. When I was tracking down Agent Voleron, she must have overheard me refer to Moff Broisk. And now she persistently pesters me about him. She keeps slipping his name nonsensically into conversations just to annoy me. Says she won't stop until I tell her why I hate the man. She wants to get to know you, Quinn. It wouldn't kill you to make friends. With her? My lord, please. It's neither appropriate nor in the Empire's interest to discuss the matter with non-military personnel. Besides, knowing her, the details of Broisk's collapse at Druckenwell and his and my subsequent conflict would only give her more fodder. Leave it to me. She'll stop bothering you. I was hoping you'd say that, my lord. Thank you. Seeing you return to this ship always warms my circuits, Master. It reminds me I am still functioning. You wanted to talk? Nothing crazy. Just thinking about what happened back on Nar Shaddaa with the old gang. When you went off with Taunt, I... I don't know. I learned something, I guess. I didn't like it. You've never cared what I did before? No matter how hard I tried to make sure you noticed. I don't get it. Really? But I'm nothing special. I'm just... a normal girl. You know what? Don't answer that. Let's just go back to what we were doing. You know, stand-in family is all well and good, but seeing the old gang again, it just made me miss my mom and sister. Which is sort of weird. My memories are so old. I remember having the memories more than I remember the actual events. Does that make any sense? <laughs> on the vet weird scale, I'll give it a three. And on the Sith joke scale? Hmm. I guess nobody's needed one of those before. We'll work one up later. Right now, I just think, what would Tiva be like today? The last time I saw my sister, she was 10, 12. Okay, enough of that. Moving along. What is on your mind, Apprentice? So much. I've only touched the dark side, and already I feel as though the galaxy is unfurling before me. There's so much to take in. And I'll admit, I'm a little uncertain about what it means to be Sith. You must learn how things run around here, and how best to serve me. Tell me, what do you think your role as my Apprentice is about? What do you suppose our relationship is? You are my master in all things. I do as you say, no matter what. My life belongs to you. Do not forget that. If I command it, you perform it. You will always be at the mercy of my whims. Your whims are my desires. All my life I've felt kept and confined. Always wanting to watch what I say, treating emotion as the enemy. The dark side is my freedom. I'm going to express everything. We believe that letting our emotions flow makes us stronger and unlocks our potential. As you speak, I am swelling with pride and hope. Please, <clears throat> may I ask you something? What do you want to know? It's about the Twi'lek, Vat. Can she be trusted? She seems rather soft. 
vet lacks the will and the ability to resist. She complains, but does as she's told. If you're comfortable with her, then I am as well. I see I have much to absorb. I'm humbled by your attention. Thank you. We can continue this discussion another time. Of course, my master. Ah, the latest lord in the Emperor's arsenal returns. You're just in time. I have need of you. My master on the Dark Council, Darth Vengeance, wants war. Not petty skirmishes that tiptoe around the Treaty of Coruscant, but open warfare. Vengeance has tasked me with finding a way to compel the rest of the Council to tear up the Treaty. Does the task give you pause, Master? The Emperor signed the treaty for a reason, but... No, Apprentice, I see it as a great opportunity. I believe I have found a way to move the Dark Council and the Emperor happily toward war. Most think that our inability to find and defeat one man, General Karist is gone, kept us from outright victory and forced the negotiated peace. Tell me you found this man, and that I get to kill him. General Gon operates from the shadows, a phantom single-handedly preventing the fringe systems from falling to us. After years without a hint of his whereabouts, I've learned that he's meeting on Nar Shaddaa with traitorous Imperial agents. You will go there, and you will kill him. Consider him dead. Without Gon, the fringe systems will fall control of the outlying planets will be a great advantage. So, to Nar Shaddaa, and deliver Darth Vengeance's red carpet to war. Good to see you, Master. I applied a fresh coat of paint to your quarters. Uh, same color, of course, uh, only fresher. <laughs> 